uh, well, we refer to it there, tax the rich is a slogan that's occasionally heard from politicians, but it's not an idea that normally finds much favour with big earners. Former city trader Gary Stevenson, though, is one of a group of millionaires campaigning for just that. He's calling for a wealth tax, and it's a message he took to a food bank in Chancellor Rishi Sunak's Richmond constituency in North Yorkshire last week. Here's his personal view of what ministers should be doing. I come from Ilford, East London, um, from, to be honest, a, a pretty poor family. Yeah, we had a small little terrace house next to the railway. I shared the bunk bed with my brother. Um, yeah, we were pretty poor growing up. Um, I know what it's like to be poor. Uh, I was always good at maths and economics, so studied hard, worked hard. Um, kids study hard in school. <laughs> I was able to get a good job as a trader in the city. Scarves are going in here, yeah? Within a few years, I was Citibank's most profitable trader in the world, basically. Um, but I did that by basically betting that the global economy would be very weak because we wouldn't deal with inequality. So, yeah, I mean, it's kind of a crazy story. I went from being very poor to being very rich by betting that inequality would grow and that would keep the economy weak. The reason why if the wealth is being held by a small minority rather than the big group, that is bad for the economy, very, very simply is because rich people save the vast majority of their income and ordinary people spend the vast majority of their income. The idea which is most likely to do something at the moment is the wealth tax. Because this is an idea, instead of taxing workers, you just tax super wealthy families. At the moment, these guys often pay, you know, less than 10% tax on their income and, and nothing on their wealth, which is, you know, less than I paid, you know, less than most of you probably pay. How many scars were in here? 35 now. Are you sure? 100 Billionaires and millionaires who have made a huge amount of money during COVID will actually know he raises national insurance, which is taxed on your wage, which does not affect the income of billionaires. So, listen, Richard Sunak, if you're watching, you know, call me up. I'm sure you're a great guy. We can have a tea. You know, I'm up in your constituency. But the way you're dealing with the crisis is not right. Gary Stevenson's message to Richie Sunak there. Uh, Jamie Driscoll, is this something Labour should be adopting? Can you make it work? Or can rich people hide their wealth? Well, that's the whole point of a wealth tax, is it is actually very hard to hide your wealth. Because when we, we've got this strange situation where people who are working for a living, doing something productive, end up paying very high rates of tax by the time you're in national insurance. And yet, if you are managing to squirrel away your money somewhere and, and through various tax avoidance schemes, you're not paying tax. And you're getting huge windfalls sometimes from just stock prices rising and things like so, that. So should, should Labour be prepared to adopt this? Yes, would you like to absolutely. See your I would love to see this. Tax the 1%, 1%. There's, there's a number of mechanisms proposed, but it's as simple as 3.4 million. Every pound you've got above that, you pay a penny. Uh, it means if you've got four million quids worth, you know, your, your house, the spare Picasso and the downstairs loot, <laughs> then um, you're paying £6,000 a year. I reckon if you've got four million quids worth of assets, you can afford six grand a year. Uh, Deanna Davison, we talked about how to raise money. Is this the perfect way? Um, I'm, I, I'd be dubious without seeing more detail. And I think the problem is often when wealth taxes are talked about, they're talked about in quite roundabout ways without getting into the nitty gritty. And I know the Wealth Tax Commission did a report in this in December 2020, and they said one of the most difficult things is whether it'd be an annual, uh, on an annual basis or a one-off. One-off much easier, but still the kind of the difficulties in actually working out people's wealth and getting an agreement between the tax man and the individual can be really tough. We saw it with Michael Jackson's I estate. It took eight years to I figure out what I that I estate was worth. Though, and it, I, I was the attractive thing about that one-off idea of having a wealth yeah. tax was it was the equivalent of putting 9p on the basic rate of income tax. So the mm. difference that would make. It could do, but as I say, we need to see more proposals. But my view is we keep taxes down, keep taxes down. You know, lack well, of curve principles, get more donors, people is that investing. What worried about? I wish it was. <laughs> if there's any donors watching, send me a bit of cash. But okay. Uh, <laughs> All right, OK, we'll leave it there. Uh, well, Gary Stevenson mentioned the decision to remove the increase in universal credit, and that's one of the problems which charities have identified as hitting some of the poorest in the region. We discussed it here, of course.